Hi, I'm Tim Bashkowitz, and I'm one of the electrochemists here at Pine Research Instrumentation. And today I'm going to talk to you about some basic rotator maintenance. There are two common maintenance services that you can perform yourself. The first that we will focus on is a brush replacement. The brush here contacts the rotating shaft and they slowly wear during normal use. Periodically then, these brushes located inside of here must be replaced. A simple brush replacement kit is available, which consists of spring-loaded brush contact with set screw, as well as the hex key necessary to perform the brush replacement. In the case of serious damage to the entire brush assembly, the brush and its Teflon holder can be replaced and are available in a variety of colors. Let's now discuss the steps to replace a contact brush. Loosen the brush assembly from the motor by simply turning. This complete brush assembly can be purchased should you need to replace the plastic and the brush simultaneously. To do so first, remove the old brush assembly from the rotator, install the new brush assembly by threading it by hand into the side of the rotator. Do not use any tools to tighten this brush assembly. It needs to only be finger tight. Now, in the case where the outer plastic has not been damaged and you only need to replace the spring-loaded brush contact, I'll show you the steps involved in that. First, you're going to remove the entire brush assembly from the rotator by unscrewing it as shown here. It should be possible to remove this brush assembly simply by hand. Next, from the brush assembly replacement kit, take the hex key, place it into the set screw, and because this is spring loaded, you're going to want to put your finger on the brush such that when I loosen this and eventually remove the set screw, that the brush does not come flying out. Also, as I fully loosen the set screw, be very careful not to lose the set screw. I recommend keeping it on the hex key. Now slowly move your finger and the entire brush assembly will come out. Then obtain the new spring loaded brush assembly. Please note, these assemblies should not be reused. After you've replaced a brush, you should dispose of the old brush assembly. Simply drop the spring-loaded end into the plastic holder and align the set screw hole with the channel that you see here in the plastic. Also note, there are two holes in the brush assembly and they look very similar. One of them is deeper and will allow for tightening of the set screw. So when you drop this into the plastic holder and you secure it in place with your finger, you should be able to insert the set screw and turn it several full revolutions until it stops. If you're not able to turn it several revolutions, then rotate and use the hole on the other side of the spring-loaded brush assembly. Now you can release. The set screw holds the spring-loaded contact in place and simply use your fingers to thread the brush assembly back into the rotator. After installing a new brush, install a shaft and allow the rotator to run at 1000 RPM for at least eight hours. This period wears a concave groove into the brush and contributes to enhanced electrical contact between brush and shaft. If you have any questions, please contact us at the information provided. Thank you.